G'day guys, Tazbet Tactics here. Today, I want to share with you a brand new piece of technology that I've been developing. After playing and analysing countless hours of online blackjack, I've finally created a software that automatically determines the best strategy for any scenario. Now, unlike typical blackjack calculators, this program uses genetic algorithm technology to simulate the results of thousands of games and give you an edge over the dealer. So, let's dive straight in. Basically, most strategy guides and blackjack calculators you'll find online are made using math. While these strategies might be theoretically perfect, in real life things rarely end up working out perfectly. Whenever we play a game of blackjack, there will always be different patterns depending on the amount of decks, type of shuffle used and the number of players. By using a specific type of algorithm, known as a genetic algorithm, we can get a computer to analyse these patterns and then tell us what the best options are. With this, we can get AI to learn from the wins and losses and update the strategy as we play. So if I actually open up the program here, we can see it's broken up into two sections. On the left side here, we have a table that goes through and it tells us the best action for any given scenario. On the right, we have a couple entry fields here so we can select the number of decks. We can put in our player hand value, whether or not it has an ace as a pair and what the dealer's up card is. And then from this, we can actually find out what the best action is. So this will automatically find it in the table. This bit down here is probably the key of the strategy. And now that's the count tracker. Now, as we're playing, what we're going to continue to do is we're going to continue to add cards to that list over there on the right. So, you know, if a 10 gets dealt, we get a 10. If an ace gets dealt, we add an 11. And we're going to keep adding all these cards. And you can see as we do this, the strategy on the left hand side here is changing and morphing in order to accompany for it, in order to make us the best and most optimal strategy that it can. So say we had a scenario where this is the cards that were dealt and we had a value of 15 and the dealer had an up card of 5. We could either type that in here and press find action and see that we should stand or if we go to the table here we look at these we go hand value so we have the 15 which is here the dealer has a 5 which is up there so if we go across from the two of them we can see that we have stand here so this is exactly what this is telling us here. All right, I'm just gonna jump straight into it so you guys can see how the AI actually works. It should work on pretty much any online blackjack game. However, when I trained it, I did specifically choose these Azure brand games. So they're the only ones that I can say I've tested it on and that I know it works for, but I'd imagine it'd work for pretty much anything as long as the rules are the same. All right, so we can see he's just drawn the card that signifies that the shoe's going to change. So that was our signal to enter. Basically, whenever we're looking for a table, we're going to look for one that's either got a brand new shoe or it's only just started. The earlier that you can get in, the better that this system will work. So the fact that we can get in right at the start is going to work perfectly. So we have a look at our table on the left. We've got it set up with eight decks as the number of decks. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait till he finishes shuffling and unfortunately we weren't able to get a seat but that's fine because personally what I like to do is I'll sit the first couple hands out and just use them to sit down and watch and gain information about the deck. That's how we can actually use this to our advantage. We're going to use this information to train the AI, give it more knowledge and hopefully it'll be able to pick apart the trends. So I'm just going to keep populating our hit list here so we have the seven the nine the eight ten ten and another ten the dealer got a six and ace a seven jack ace nine six jack ace nine six so we can see our true count is now starting to develop so we're going to watch as we go the dealer got the four there someone's left the table so i can sit down now personally i really wouldn't like this front seat but you know, it is what it is. We're going to sit where we can. We're going to place our 10 bucks down. Oh, we're going to move. We're going to sit there instead. We're going to place 10 down. This way we, we can act a little bit slower and it gives us more time to use the program. So we're going to watch as he deals and we're going to fill it out and we're going to see how we go from here. 10 for the dealer. 10, 8, 10. 
four and an ace. So we have the 17. We're definitely going to stand on a 17 against the dealer 10. That's what our table says here. See, 17 against the dealer 10, stand. So we're going to watch. He, he got hit there. So that was a 10 he pulled, a 5 he pulled. We're just going to keep populating the list as we play an ace. And the dealer had a 9. So unfortunately we don't win that one, but that's okay because now we have more information for the next game. So we're going to place another $10 bet. Our bet multiplier is still at 1. So we can we can update that, make sure the bet multiplier is still at 1. That just sort of informs you. If you see this number go higher, then you can start to bet higher because it's more favorable scenarios. So he's about to start dealing again. I'm just going to keep populating the list. I might skip forward. So we have an 18 against the 9. Of course, we're going to stand on that. The other guy got Delta 10, so we're going to add that to our list. These guys are going to stand. This guy on the end is going to hit. He got an 8 and an ace, so I'm going to add those to the list. So he's going to hit again on a 15. He should, if he had this, if he had the program, he definitely should. We can see we're definitely starting to get a really good negative count here. So I'm going to double my bet here because we have a true count of negative 1.2. We can go by this true count or by the bet multiplier. It's sort of up to you. It's sort of up to your discretion to know how to place your bets. So here we go. We got $20 down. We'll see how we go. We're going to keep tracking. Hopefully we can get this count even more negative to make it more favorable for us. If the count goes really negative or really positive, both scenarios are favorable. There we go. Okay, so we're at a 1.5. So we got the 20. That's beautiful. So that's exactly what we want. We can see, you know, this system's working in our favor. That high count is getting negative, so our bets increase. We're going to stand on a 20. We're definitely not going to split that. You see, down here, we, it's always a stand. Double seven splits. So he got the strategy. He knows what he's doing. 17 and a 17 against a three. That's perfect. You'd love to see that. Love to see that. So I'm going to populate that into our list. Another two tens. That makes the count even more negative. We still got our negative count, so this is beautiful. 19 for the dealer. Beautiful, we were the only ones to win that. So I just wanna show you guys as well how this strategy's been working for me. So you can see today, I've managed to cash out nearly about 800 bucks. And so that was, that was starting with $200 I put in originally. I cashed out the 800 and then I left that 100 in there that I was just showing you. Yesterday I managed to get nearly $500. Um, and in the history, I've also managed to pull out 350 bucks nearly down here. But generally I, I sort of leave $100 in there and then I just keep playing with it until I can manage to work it up to a reasonable amount and then I pull it out for myself. All right, so if you guys want to download this program for yourself, I'll leave a link to my website in the description down below. Once you've downloaded the program, simply just extract the zip file, then open it up and then launch it with the shortcut. From here, you can input your cards and work out what bets you should be making. But with all that said, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and share it with your friends. If you're ready to transform your blackjack game, download the program now and start winning. Let me know your thoughts and success stories in the comments down below. I'll see you next time and happy betting.